Mass points with splitting masses is one of the most powerful and amazing tools in geometry. It can be used to solve problems like this one. Today, we'll be explaining not only how to use it, but why it works. If you haven't watched my previous video on why mass points itself works, don't worry. We'll be reviewing it now. Let's talk about center of mass. Suppose we have points A and B, where A has a mass of 1 and B has a mass of 2. Let's call their center of mass C. Where should C be? Well, it's somewhere on the line between A and B. And we want it to be closer to B since B weighs more. How much closer? Well, since B weighs twice as much, CA will be twice as long as CB. Now, if we think of C as the sum of A and B, C should have a mass that's the sum of A and B masses. So C has a mass of 3. What about the center of mass of 3 points? Let's say A has a mass of 3, B has a mass of 5, C has a mass of 7, and their center of mass is G. We'll denote center of mass with the plus symbol. We can also say that F is the center of mass of AB, D is the center of mass of BC, and E is the center of mass of AC. To find G, you could take the center of mass of AB first, which is F, and then the, take the center of your result with C. This means that G must be the center of mass of F and C. By the same logic, G is the center of A and D, and it's also the center of B and E. Now we can find the masses of the rest of the points. E has a mass of 10, F has a mass of 8, and D has a mass of 12. Now that we know all the masses, we can find all of the ratios on this diagram. For example, GB to GE must be in a 10 to 5 ratio, or 1 to 2 ratio. A key bit of vocab. A Chevian is the segment from one vertex of a triangle to a point on the opposite side. Since these three Chevians all intersect in one point, G, we call them concurrent Chevians. What if we had four points, B1, B2, A, and C, and they each have some weights? Let's say B is the center of B1 and B2, and F is the center of A and C. Then the center of B and F, which we'll call G, has to be the center of all four starting points. But what if we did the other side first? Let's say the center of A and B1 is D, and the center of C and B2 is E. Then G is also the center of D and E. We'll be using this soon. Now, finally, let's get to our problem from the beginning. In this case, we don't have concurrent Chevians, so it wouldn't work to use regular mass points. So instead, we'll split the mass at B. See where the name splitting massing comes from? To get B1 and B2. B1 and B2 are at the same location as B, so that B1 has part of the mass at B, and the rest of it is in B2. This is a little confusing to think about, because it's all in the same location, but it's actually the same as our previous example with four points. B is just the center of mass of B1 and B2. So now let's write down all the centers of mass that we know. The center of A, B, and C is G. The center of A and C is F. The center of D and E is G. The center of B1 and A is D. The center of B2 and C is E. The center of B1 and B2 is B. And finally, the center of B and F is G. Now, we can assign some masses using the ratios we're given. The first mass is arbitrary, as long as the ratios are maintained. So let's say A has a mass of 2. Since we have that 3 to 2 ratio, C has a mass of 3, and so F has a mass of 5. Now, since D is the center of A and B1, B must have twice the mass of A, so it has a mass of 4. This means D has a mass of 2 plus 4, which is 6. Similarly, on the other side, 
since E is the center of mass of B2 and C, and we have that 2 to 1 ratio, B2 must have half the mass of C. So it has a mass of 1.5, and E has a mass of 4.5. This means B has a mass of 1.5 plus 4, which is 5.5. Since G is the center of mass of B and F, it has a mass of 10.5. Now we can use these masses to answer the question. BG to GF must have a ratio of 5 to 5.5, or 10 to 11. We did it! This problem would have been really, really difficult to do without splitting masses. But splitting masses can solve all sorts of amazing problems. Anyways, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe!